Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's weekend whip, I'm going to be putting the finishing touches on a page that I started in Magical Creatures. You guys actually saw me start this page too, so I thought it would be appropriate for you to see me finish it up. Um, I'm going to be using a mixture of different fun things, some paint pens, some glitter gel pens, some stickles. Um, yeah, I just thought that you would like to see kind of the ending of that and then possibly um, start another one. We'll see how we'll see how this goes. I am going to take a sip of my tea here. Okay. Ooh, my screen is really crooked. I got to fix that. Hang on a second. I'm sure that doesn't drive anybody else nuts, but when I watch my own videos back and my screen is is off, that's all I can see is that the grid isn't quite, now a little bit off here and there I can deal with, but um, when it's way off, it just, it just distracts me through the whole video. Okay, um, so first let me apologize for not being here last weekend. Um, we'll get into that here in a second. This is where I'm at with the page. So you guys had seen me start this little dragon guy, uh, with some ink tents. And since then I've used some markers and some pencils to do all of the, uh, the work that you see so far. I drew in this little, um, line here to make it look like this is like a window, and the dragon is coming. I don't know. I, I, the, this whole little, um, oval is off center on the page and it was driving me crazy. But then I realized it's because the wings needed some place to go. <laughs> so I see why, why it was shifted, but I like, I like the little addition of the, um, this to kind of make it look like it's a window. So that's, that's, that was my thought process there. Uh, and then I've added just like some little um, color all the way around the edges. I'll, I'll hold that up so you can see it a little bit better um, with my colored pencils. We used just Prismacolors on top of the other things I've done here, um, which was, again, ink tents and water-based marker, uh, and then drew in little stars and shapes um, around the outside just to make it a little bit more magical. And to match, like, the stars and stuff on the inside. Oh, I do need to get one more thing. Okay, I also want to use a little bit of the this gold color in a couple of spots. So we're going to do that, too. So I'm going to have all kinds of fun little different things to play with. And I'm going to try and talk. And we're going <laughs> to make a video. So yeah, let's, um, let's just get started. So hi, everybody. I hope that you are doing well. Uh, it is Friday mid morning for me, actually. I was able to get my son out of bed earlier today so that I could <laughs> come in and get some of the this video filmed for you. Um, Because I have plans tonight, which I'm hoping are going to go wonderfully, uh, we are going to the symphony, my husband and I. He um, was just wonderful and got some, like a season ticket packet thing to the symphony. So tonight they're doing, um, the songs of the Beatles, which I thought would be just sounded really neat. And I, you know, just fingers crossed at the moment that I, uh, am still feeling up for it, uh, this evening. I'm kind of going to just, I'm kind of just going to make myself go <laughs> whether I feel good or not, because I don't want to miss the symphony. Um, so I'm really going to take it easy today. I'm just going to go ahead and film this with you guys. And then um, pretty much that's it until <laughs> I have to go and um, pick up kids. So, yeah. Uh, 
a little bit of an update about me. If you guys have been watching The Weekend Whips, you know I've been struggling a little bit with um, some health issues. I do have a doctor's appointment next week, so that is hopefully going to be resolved very shortly. Uh, fingers crossed because it's been kicking my butt. Um, that is why I wasn't here last week. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit of a struggle, but like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get through it just like one day at a time. And, uh, yeah, once I have like a full diagnosis and everything's back on the, the path, I feel like I would feel more comfortable talking about it then. So just for now, know that things are in the works to get better. And yeah, thanks thanks so much for all of your support and well wishes and um, understanding when I wasn't able to film, all of that. You guys are wonderful, wonderful people. Okay, so I am adding this white gold color just in a few spaces. So all of the stars are getting this color. And then I'm also going to do it on this specific tower. And then all the little uh, topper parts are going to get this color too. Uh, once I switch to the, like the gel pens, I'll be able to talk a little bit better, <laughs> but you guys know how I am with watercolors and anything with a brush tip takes me a little bit more focus for some reason. Uh, this past week, video wise, I did release my completed pages video. So if you are interested, you can check that out. I did quite a few pages even with feeling a little um not right so that made me happy i was pleased with the pages i did get done as well so that was good um let's see what else I do have a short haul video filmed for you guys next week. That'll be out next week, so look for that. It's just a couple of books that I've added to my collection recently um, that I'm a little excited about because they just are beautiful. Um, yeah, and I'm in the process of filming the Neo Color, the updated Neo, no, the updated Ink Tense. I'm sorry, the updated Ink Tense video. So that'll be coming uh, very soon as well. So I'm, I'm doing well with filming. Um, so that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, and then coloring has been a little bit of a struggle because I overdid it a little bit towards the end of the month there to get some buddy colors completed, so I've not been able to use my hand quite the same way as I normally would, but, um, yeah, I'm still able to do a little bit here and there, so we're going to see... We're going to see how it, how it goes with um, using some gel pens today. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see uh, a little bit of the shine there on the stars and the little, the little roof that I added. Um, oh, no, I need one more spot. I just saw this. Where'd it go? There it is. This little, this one little guy right here. Yep, okay. That's good. Uh, I have this brush, I love these brushes. I have three sizes of these. So these are the silver black velvet um, brushes. And they just, I mean, look at the tip on that thing. It's wonderful. I love, I love those brushes. Um, okay. So yeah, so now I need to figure out if I want to use 
my pink sparkly Posca or my pink sparkly gel pen. Ooh, that's a tough choice. One is much darker than the other. I thought this one was light for some reason. Oh, that's because I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. That's the one I was looking for. There's still a difference, quite a difference in the color. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Posca for that one. And if I want to use the orange or not. I might use the orange on some things in the background. And then I also have a couple of blues here. So I have this one. So these are all either the Sakura or Sakura. I don't know how to say it. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Anyway, the Tiara um, Jelly Roll. Uh, and then I have some AN Art gel pens that are they're a little older but still really sparkly and this one oh I think that one's out that one's out and I don't know that this one's quite as this one doesn't have as much um glitterific and that's too dark too dark I think it's going to be the, yeah, the jelly roll. Okay. So these are what we're using. Cool, cool. Okay. All right. I just had to think about it for a second. <laughs> I want to make sure these are all dry so I'm not going to be smearing things around. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here we go. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I do not remember. I guess just that I'm having a, um, I had an okay coloring month. Was that the whole point of that? Maybe, maybe. Now I know that these are like pink and orange, these, these castle bits, but I really wanted the pink. Is this the right pink? Did I grab the wrong pink again? Dang it, I did. That's okay. We'll just make this one um, multicolor. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. I was like, why does that look so dark? Um, <laughs> I'm really with it today, guys. I did have some tea already this morning, so I feel like I should be a little bit more focused. But yeah, with everything else, it's just not, things are not... Um, quite right that's all i keep saying is i'm just not quite right <laughs> and as soon as as soon as we can get this fixed we will um yeah so upcoming stuff uh for the channel we're gonna have a color along this month which i'm super excited about we're gonna have um and this, oh, shoot, I forgot that one. This month is going to be Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean. It's going to be a color along in that book. Um, so look for that on the channel. I'm excited for that. Um... Yeah, and then the updated Ink Tense video will be out, which that one will be really cool, I think, as well. Now I'm very tempted to work in that. No, I'm just going to use the blue. We're just using the blue. It's okay. Oh, I was going to put the orange in. There's a little bit of orange here. Um... Yeah, what else for the channel? Not a ton else going on. I'm hoping once I start feeling better that I can then maybe start working on a collection video and declutter series, which just sounds like a lot of work to me. Like just thinking about doing it just is like, ugh. But 
Oh, come on, Pen. You were just giving me all kinds of glitter. Sometimes they, they're stubborn. Most of the time I don't have any problems with these, but every once in a while they decide they don't want to work. Um, yeah, well, I hope that I was talking about something that was making sense because I don't remember what it was now. Uh, yeah, videos videos for next month oh declutter yeah so the yeah it just sounds like a lot of work that was basically the whole point of that <laughs> um i'm not looking forward to doing it but i know that it needs to be done so i'm just going to kind of do it all in one thing so i'm hoping that those will be able i'll be able to get those out this month that's on my plans list And then other than that, I just have some fun buddy colors coming up and um, yeah, just different, different pages I'm excited about working on and I'm going to try to do a page from the Nice Little Town Valentine's Day book because that one is just adorable. It's the cutest little book. And then a lot of my pages are going to have pink in them, pink and purple, because that's what I do for Valentine's Day, typically. I usually, I do kind of tend to go, like, when I'm coloring, I do have, like, a palette that just kind of follows me around for the month on occasion. So last month I had lots of blues and purples. And... Um, this month, there'll be lots of pinks and purples everywhere. Okay, let's see. So everything has got a sparkly bit, right? All the castle toppers are done. Okay, so now we're going to use some orange on some of the stars and stuff in the background. I think I'll add some onto these guys. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for some of the buddy colors I have coming up that I get to color. I have two color or two buddy colors set in a book that I've not even touched yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have two pages done, which is awesome. Um, looking forward to that, but then really I've only got like... I only have a few pages picked out specifically for this month. So other ones that I decide to color in are just going to be like, well, what do I feel like doing today? Which is always fun and exciting because those ones are sometimes the best pages. They just, you get super inspired. I forgot a star. Uh, you get super inspired to color something. And, um, yeah, sometimes those are just, they turn out to be the best pages. Yeah. Instead of, like, ones that I've planned to color in, the ones that kind of hit me upside the head with color me, color me, those are the ones that tend to be better for me. Okay. Okay. There are those. Let's do some, I'm gonna do some white dots. So this is how I finish up all my pages. I just kind of go through and um, just add little bits and pieces. Here and there. I just want to make sure all of these are white and then I'm going to do a little bit of stickles on top of them to make them sparkly. So all of them that are overlapping the things. 
I think so. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to grab some paint pens. I have these pastel um, paint pens. I think these colors will be great. These two for sure. I'm just going to go ahead and use this turquoise color. I know it's not quite um, the same as the color I have in here already, but that's okay. So we're just going to do, because I want all the stars on the inside to be um, multicolor, like the little ones. Like you're not even going to be able to see some of these, but um, just knowing that they're there, I think is a fun little The bigger ones, I like I said, I'll have um, some stickles on. I really ended up liking this. Oops, just make it a circle. Uh, I really ended up liking this color palette. I thought it turned out really cute, and I'm glad you guys get to hang out and finish the page with me. I'm going to grab my watercolor again just so I can go ahead and get that star that I missed right here. one tiny little baby star and you take another sip of tea hang on a second all right hoping the orange Posca is all dry because I'm gonna come in with a few little bits of the turquoise now I'm just gonna use the turquoise on some of the really smallest ones because this color doesn't really go on this page very much I have it a little bit like here and there, but not, not, it's kind of like blended into the blue. You guys probably can't even see it. Um, but the base color that I started uh, these towers with was kind of more of a turquoisey blue. Um, so I wanted to have a little bit of that and then we'll do the rest of them in pink, like the rest of the smaller ones. Right? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. So we'll start over here. Um, I also uh, recently was tagged by the lovely Jordy from Jordy Colors in a couple of coloring videos um, that had to do with like um, year end kind of. questions about your coloring and stuff and I wanted to I wanted to do the whole tags but as I was reading through some of the questions I realized I've already kind of done that in a couple of my videos um so I do have like my 2023 year in review video out there and I do have um my coloring plans for 2024 um so they are kind of already, like, I already kind of touched on some of the topics. But there were a couple of questions that were on those tags that I have not talked about. So I thought I'd do a couple of those, too, while I was working. Um, I, have the, I have the questionnaire here, but of course it's taped up <laughs> instead of down here where I could look. So I'm going to grab that really quick. Um... Yeah, and set it off to the side so that I can read some of them because I thought a lot of them were were pretty good questions. Some of them, um, you know, like I covered, like how many pages did you color? I talked about that. Uh, so this one, this one is the um, uh, twenty twenty three like wrap up tag, uh, and it was by uh, Sassy Coloring originally. So you can go check out. I'll tag everybody below that I'm mentioning. As well, you can go check out um, 
her original video and um, Jordy's video as well. Um, like, yeah, so one of the questions was how many pages did you do? And I think I talked about that in my 2023 wrap up. Um, another one was, um, let's see, which month did you color the most pages? Ugh. I would have to actually look back at that. And I did not, I did not plan really well. I just thought I would answer some of these off the top of my head. <laughs> Maybe not the best plan in hindsight. Uh, let's see. Okay, so then I have quite a few little spots there where I can just do the... Yeah, that's what I want to do. The stickles. I'm going to do the stickles last, though. Okay, so now I'm going to take my white Posca and add... Well, my white Artistro. I've been using this Artistro because I think this Posca is dying. It will work, but um, this has been working so much better for me. So I'm going to take this guy and use him. Um, all right, let me see. Uh, do you have any coloring regrets from 2023? Um, hmm. I, not necessarily regrets, I don't think, but like I, I do kind of um, wish I had been a little bit more planny. <laughs> like on the months that I kind of fell behind, not, not necessarily fall behind because I don't really have a goal in mind when I'm coloring. Um, I don't set out to color a certain number of pages. I don't set out to color, you know, um, I don't have a number I need to beat to, to make myself feel like I was productive for a month. But I do like to be as productive as possible. I hope that makes sense. While still enjoying the process and still having fun. Um... Yeah, so I wish I had p planned, like pre-planned for the months where I was just down. Um, I don't know that it would necessarily have helped, but I was hoping, I'm hoping that maybe if I do that a little bit more this year, um, that it will, it'll work better. Because I know I'm going to have those months where I'm just, I'm just off, I'm just down, my mo my mojo is not there, um, whether that's because of, you know, illness or busyness or what have you. I know it's going to happen. So if I kind of pre-plan for that and just have, you know, either pages that I know will bring me joy or pages that I know will be easy um, for me to do. Or like a plan in place for when my wrist goes start and starts acting like a like a jerk. <laughs> um, and this is actually kind of one of those one of those plans is like I know that I can put a little bit of content out here for you guys and still kind of show you a little bit of something, you know, interesting while still maintaining uh, my wrist health, I guess. Um, but yeah, just, I, I would like to, I just, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm still, I've, I've got a plan in place, basically, for my downtimes. Now, there are still going to be times, of course, where I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss filming videos. I'm going to miss weekends here and there when I'm just too ill or too just out of it to film that's gonna happen and you guys have been with me enough I think I mean a lot of you if you've been here you know that I have those times every once in a while and that's okay it's all right to have those times okay how do I want to do this I want some stickles on his horn all right I think I got it going 
So yeah, I want stickles on his horn. So I'm just going to put a little bit on his horn. Just right up here. Uh, let's see. Is there another question I can answer? Uh, what was my most used medium in 2023? Probably, probably my alcohol markers. Um, I would have to say that that was probably up there. And then second, I'm going to guess Prismacolors. Um, just because I feel like those ones, I'm most comfortable with those. So that was probably what, that's probably the correct answer. Without, without being able to fact check it, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that that's the answer. Um, I bet stickles is in the, is in the top, top supplies used, uh, because I love this stuff and this bottle, this bigger bottle of stickles, if you can get your hands on a, what size is this? A one ounce bottle of these stickles, they last forever. The tips get clogged up every once in a while, but you, I mean, you kind of saw what I was doing with that little pin, um, you can use like a safety pin or any kind of pin and uh, really just bring it back to life. Like it, it's not hard to do. I am going to make these glittery too. And when I'm doing this, I'm not pushing hard um, and I'm almost painting with the nozzle of the stickles. Like just so that it... has just a little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, I do want a little highlight on the dragon's scales. So let's do that before I get stickle crazy. Uh, and then just a few little strands. No, I didn't really want to do that, but it's done now. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. Where am I at? Let's do this one. Um, let's see. What other supplies did I use? I used probably the next pencil that I use the most would be my Black Widows. Um, I really love the color. Uh, selection in those pencils. I like the way they work on most papers. Sometimes they're a little persnickety, um, but I've kind of found that if you do a light layer of the lightest color like that you're using first, then everything kind of blends, seems to blend better on top of that, that initial layer. Um, Yeah, they do end up hurting my hand a little bit after a while, but I just have to remember to take breaks. That's what it is. I get hyper-focused on my coloring, and I don't want to stop because I'm in the zone, you know? But if I don't stop, I'm going to injure myself and then not be able to color and be frustrated that way. So I need to figure out where the frustration like, which frustration do I want to deal with? Oh, shoot. There's another little circle. Give that a second to dry. I am really hoping you guys can see the sparkle from this because this is super fun already. I love it. Okay, that still needs to dry. I want to add the stickles now. <laughs> Now, okay. Um, there's a sorry that just reminded me of a thing my husband and I do. There was a, an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. I don't know if anybody, if you guys are familiar with that show, but um, Ray's 
he had a cousin that was he was just so annoyed by and um he spoke very nasally and they <laughs> the cousin said something about something now and he's like he said it super nasally super like New Jersey accent like it was real real rough and Ray was like why do you say it like that why can't you just say it like like now and they they started saying now back and forth to each other and they're like it, it, the cousin was like we're saying the same thing we're sound the same way and they did they sounded exactly the same and it was so funny and then ray realized that he sounds like that and he was like he was like oh my god i sound like him um anyway sorry side note okay so um what was i talking about <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel like it, I was talking about the color mediums. Uh, I don't know if I got through that or not. So, okay. So, and do you, uh, did you try any new techniques? Um, none that I can specifically think of off the top of my head. Um, I've tried a couple of techniques, techniques that I don't use very often, um, but not really anything new. Did I get everything? Slow one guy. Okay. I think that's everything. And I did get a little bit of pink on here where I didn't want it. So I'm just going to cover that up with some white really quick. Do I want to do, yeah, um, no, I'm not going to do that. All right. So, yeah, I hope that you can see the sparkle on that. And then like all the little, all the little doodads and dots and everything that just make it fun. I think this guy's done. I think it's cute. Well, that was a fun page. Okay, so that's finished. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of how I finish up all of my pages, is I just kind of go, you know, I, I try to get all of the coloring and shading done first, and then I come through with my Posca and my sparkly bits and add, you know, details at the end. But I think it's a good, I think it, the the little guy turned out really cute. I liked that I had that as a as a inspiration. That's fun. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and see if I can grab something else to work on. I'll be right back with you. Okay, just to kind of finish the thought process that I was on, I thought I would do this page. So this is part of a color along that's out there on Instagram right now from a uh, colorful diary, I think, and at Lavalia's coloring, they're doing a year long color along in the fur balls book. Um, and they're choosing a page each month. So you, anybody can join. So check that out on Instagram. Uh, but I thought I would start maybe this background. I'm going to do pinks. I think I'm going to go super pink with this one. Um, so yeah, so this is, I was still talking about techniques, right? Yeah. Um, so I don't have really any, any techniques that I can remember trying out specifically last year. Um, but I do want to try out more with oil pastels. I have a couple of sets that I've never really... I've never really used. So I thought I thought that that would be a good that would be a good um idea to to try to use some of those a little bit more. I'd really like to learn how to use them. I, I I've played <clears throat> sorry. I've played with them a little bit and uh 
just really haven't, don't feel like I've, I'm comfortable with them. I haven't definitely have, I mean, I've not really mastered any of this, but, um, you know, I don't feel confident in, in my coloring skills with it yet. So yeah, that's one that I would love to kind of play with some more. Oh, I liked this question. What illustrator or illustrators would you recommend to new colorists um, or any colorists? So uh, this is one, Diane DeFore. Um, she has simple pages, great quality paper. The books are a little harder to get a hold of, but they are, I mean, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on, um, you know, different Amazons from around the world. And you can get them on Amazon US. They just take a little bit to get here and cost a little bit more. But the paper quality is phenomenal. Even though it's a tiny little book, it's just like, it's so good. The paper quality is so good. Um, yeah, so Diane DeFore would be one. Um, she's got several books out. Um, I love this Furballs book. She also has one with like little teddy bears in it. That's really cute. And a mermaid's book that I've seen. And I think a nature, I think, do I have the nature book? I think I have the nature book. Yeah. And a nature book with like animals. So, um, that one, uh, this artist for sure. I think RJ Hampson is a really wonderful illustrator. Um, and there's a variety of styles, you know, that he draws that are, I think, appealing to beginners for sure. Um, they're not too complicated and they're adorable. Um, I really, I really tend to go for things that are cartoony in nature. Um, so those are typically going to be my recommendations, but you know, if that's not your vibe, then, you know, I, I really think just go with your heart. A lot of the times, if you see an image that inspires you, go for it. Like pick up a pencil and just start. Yeah, if you like things like florals and things, you know, Johanna Basford's always a fun one. Uh, Hannah Carlson has a lot of florals and things. And they're, you know, larger images, so you can really focus on um, the actual bits and pieces of, of the image. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um I don't know exactly what I'm doing right now. Now I'm just kind of adding some color here and there where I think I might want some, but I don't know. I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> uh, I haven't used the Neo colors in this book yet. I've only used the Ink Tense so far. So we'll see how the Neo colors do. Um, I'm adding the white. I don't use the white very often. Well, I mean, I guess I use it semi-regularly because it is pretty short, but I'm adding the white just to make sure that those areas stay pretty light. Um, and the these the neo colors are very opaque. So you can really like layer over things with um, when you use the the white too, you can get get cool effects. Okay. All right. So let me get another question and then, uh, I'll start blending. Um, okay. So I answered a few from sassy coloring. This is the other, uh, video. It was, uh, goals for 2024 or coloring plans for 2024. And this is from jazzy doodles designs. Um, so make sure to go check them out on, in, on, on uh, Instagram and YouTube. Um, okay, so the first one was, do you have a strict coloring goal or goals for 2024, or are you more loosey-goosey? Definitely loosey-goosey. I mean, I'm not, oh man, that's a lot of water, Erica. Um, jeez. Uh, you guys have seen, I mean, you know that I'm, 
I try to have goals, but it's not, they, they don't always pan out. They <laughs> like, it's not, it's not a hard and fast rule for me to, to try to, yeah. I just know it's not going to work if I, if I set myself specific, you have to have this, you know, you have to do this. You have to have this many pages done by this time of the year. You have to, it's like the, you know, the ADHD part of my brain, it kicks in and is like, don't tell me what to do. Um, it either does that or it goes into like hyper focus and is like, oh my God, I have to get them done. So there's no telling <laughs> what's going to happen with my brain, uh, which is always super fun for me. Super fun. Um, yeah, so definitely loosey-goosey. And I, you know, I set, I don't even know that they're goals. They're just like, I don't know what the right word would be for it. Like, once, maybe? Like, I would love to be able to do this by this time, or I would love to be able to have this. I mean, I guess I've kind of set a goal of having a color along each month from Johanna Bassford. That, that's kind of a, that is kind of a hard and fast goal. But I still have the option of picking which book. I still have the option of picking, you know, if it's a an easier page or a harder page, a more like detailed page, I have the option of, you know, picking when I do it, if it's at the beginning of the month, the end of the month, whatever. I still have those options available. So I'm not like straight jacket straight jacketed. That's is that a term? <laughs> That's probably not a term I should use. I am not forced into one action. Holy moly. But yeah, so yeah, definitely loosey-goosey. Long answer to an easy, easy question. <laughs> um, what spending collecting goals do you have? I guess that's a good one. So I, I did kind of... I did make another rule. I just was saying that I don't make myself rules, but now I did make another rule. I am only going to be buying books that I have either seen flip throughs of and, and like know that I definitely want, or um, if there's a specific artist that I, you know, is like an auto buy for me. So like, artists like Joseph Kattenbang, a definite buy. Um, Hannah Carlson, a definite buy. Uh, Lulu Mayo, I love all of her books. Um, that's another one, another artist I would recommend too is Lulu Mayo, because those ones are so fun. Um, let's see. But yeah, I, I wanted to just, I want to just not blindly, uh, buy books this year, which is what I was kind of doing before. I would just like get this urge to buy something and then just kind of start searching for like, oh, well I, you know, I want a book about St. Patrick's Day. So then I would just go on and like start searching for St. Patrick's Day books and buy something just specifically for St. Patrick's Day. I mean, this is just a uh, an exaggeration, not necessarily St. Patrick's Day, but something similar, you know, like a specific topic and not, then not coloring it. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I, I want, I, I'm definitely trying really hard to get things that I absolutely want. I'm also going to be implementing a rule where I, I think I just saw this on, mm, 
It might have been Jen's coloring corner. That might have been where I saw it. Um, where she has a rule now that when she gets a book, she colors in it immediately. And I was like, okay, that's really smart. Because then you're not shelving empty books. You know, you, then you have a, at least a page colored in the book. And, um, yeah, that's, that's really it. I just think that's super smart and, um, you maybe won't be buying as many books as, <laughs> as you would normally. Um, so yeah, so I think that that's, that's a really good goal. Yeah. And then after, uh, after I get my declutter done, then I will be able to do, you know, a few pages of books that I haven't colored in yet here and there, plus these new books that I've just recently purchased. So I am uh, looking forward to kind of being able to focus on multiple, uh, multiple artists this year. I did feel like I got a pretty good mix of artists last year, um, but it'll be nice, I think, to make sure that I get a variety of artists. I want to support as many, um, as many artists as I can, you know, um, without breaking my bank <laughs> as well. Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping. Okay, let me let me stop here. We're going to uh, we're going to stop for today, I think. I want to just let you guys know. I'm sorry if this is um this video is a little wonky. Like I said, things are a little off for me right now. And I just, I really wanted to have a little bit of chat with you guys, show you how I finished that page up, chat a little bit about these questions, but I, I think my mind is just going too much and my mouth is not able to follow today. So, so we're going to stop for today. I appreciate you all being here. Um, I think this is going to be a cute background once I finish it up. I'm just going to go through and add little bits and pieces more. Um, yeah, that's it. It'll be a cute page. Very pink um, in color, but I think, and I think I'm going to have like a corgi and either like, um, oh, what are those? Like a uh, Bernese Mountain Dog. I think that's what they are. I think I'm going to try to do that for this one. So... Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, and hopefully next weekend we'll be a little bit more um, together. <laughs> uh, yeah, so take care of yourselves. And uh, thanks for being here. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>